Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to bring you my first ever Minecraft video, and what better video to do than a 4-bit incrementer slash decrementer. This kind of goes off the previous videos that I've been making, so let's see what this thing looks like and what it does. Alright, so I have some controls off to the right, the one on the left clears the memory, the one in the middle pauses the clock, and the one on the right controls whether we're adding or subtracting one. Alright, so first, let's increment our circuit from 0 to 15, in binary numbers of course. And I decided to speed up the video here because it takes a long time for the numbers to propagate uh, through the memory, through the adders, and then into our uh, lights here, or our number output. So if you know of a faster way to do this, I'm going to show you the circuit later. Uh, let me know, or send me a video link, or something similar. And right here I'm showing you that it's going to restart afterwards. And then here on the right we're going to change the controls again. First I'm going to pause it pause the clock and then I'm going to clear the memory. So now I want to decrement. So now I'm going to decrement from 0 to, or from uh, 15 to 0, sorry. And once again I'm speeding it up here. I decided to just show the binary numbers instead of hooking up a 7 segment display because well I figured that would take even more time for the numbers to propagate. Alright, so let's clear the memory and pause the circuit and let's go see what this thing looks like. Alright, so first I'm going to show you guys the four full adders. So these things are huge and this is what takes the most time for, to propagate because they're long and they have a lot of gates and that takes more time. Now here I have four synchronous D flip flops. So the output of the adder goes into the flip flop and then the clock synchronizes it. And then here is the clock, and I have a controlled output. So this lets me pause it. So when I'm pausing, the clock no longer synchronizes the circuit. And here I have the output of the flip-flop. And the output, output goes into the adder, and if the output is zero, then it obviously clears it. And here controls the incrementer, or the decrementer. And this is the binary counter display. Alright, thank you guys for watching, subscribe, and I will be back soon with more Minecraft videos and tutorials on digital logic.